Namaste, I'm Kala and you're watching Kala Art Online. So what are we going to learn today? Today we are going to learn a very popular Indian folk art called Madhubani painting. Now Madhubani was widely practiced in the Mithila region of the Indian subcontinent and because it's widely prevalent there, it is also called Mithila art or Mithila painting. Madhubani paintings mostly depicts people and their association with nature and it also has scenes of deities from the ancient epics. Now natural objects like the sun, the moon, religious plants like Tulsi are generally widely painted along with scenes from the royal court and social events like weddings. So who invented this Madhubani art? The origins are actually unknown though history dates it back as a 2500 year old folk art and uh, it is said that this was started during the time of Ramayan when King Janak asked artists to capture the wedding moments of his daughter Sita to Prince Ram. Uh, so this wedding was captured in the form of Madhubani paintings. So what are the colors and tools used for this painting? Traditionally, the colors used were from natural extract like from the plant, leaves, the flowers, fruits, etc. And the tools used were twigs, fingers, brushes, matchsticks, etc. This painting is characterized by beautiful geometric designs. So now that you know a little bit of the history and the backdrop of Madhubani paintings, let me show you all how I have done today's class. In today's class, you will be learning a few borders like this, how to make some borders. And then I have done a sketch of this artwork, which I have done this. Now you can do this in an A3 size hard paper using a sketch pen. And then you can fill it with colors with using either a brush pen or sketch pens or color pencils but I have transferred it into a canvas board like this so this is a canvas board and I have used acrylic colors now I prefer using a board and acrylic colors now if you see this is the board which you should be buying this board is meant for acrylic colors. Now you will have a board which is primed for oil colors also, a board which is primed for watercolors. Pick up the board which is primed for acrylic colors. And this is the board, canvas board, which we will use. As I said, you can also use sketch pins. I am teaching how to color the border using the sketch pins, but preferably acrylic on canvas will work beautifully. So let's get started with today's class and for my viewers who are coming here for the first time, if you like my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel Kala Art Online. So today's class is Madhubani painting and let's get started.
So in the first video, you all saw how to draw the borders on a paper, colouring it with sketch pens. Now we will do a painting of a beautiful peacock. Here, this is what it is, the peacock. And I'll be transferring this on the canvas board and I'll be using my acrylic paints to colour it. So let's get started with the video of the next, the, of this paint.
So I hope you all have enjoyed today's class of uh, Madhubani painting. I had also taught you all in one of my videos on how to do the Wadli art. So that video will pop up soon after this. Do check out that video also. For all my new subscribers who have just joined me, thank you all for being a part of my journey. And if you're a viewer who is coming to my channel for the first time, do consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and do click on that notification bell to get more updates on my upcoming videos. Thank you all once again.